What up, man? Man, God's been hella putting it on my heart a lot to kind of talk about my testimony a little bit, man. And I, I always want to. I always kind of want to speak up and just talk about it, you know. And I never feel like it's the right time or anything like that, you know. I always feel like, nah, you know, I'm not perfect yet. I'm not like, I'm not good enough. You know, when everything's perfect, then I'm, then I can, you know, speak about it. But until my life's perfect, I can't really speak about it. But it's like, nah, man. I just, well, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the darkness that God brought me out of and how bad I was, you know, and how much he has done for me. You know, it's been five years, man, sober on the 12th this month, five years sober. And it's everything, man, everything, the darkness that I was in, I was in, I was, I was, man, suicidal, man. I was, I hated life. I hated myself. I was so broken hearted, man, a whole lifetime of broken heartedness, you know. And I tried so much to do so many different things, you know, like unconsciously, you know, alcohol, whatever, drugs, um, you know, it's just the, the self-hatred, however it expresses itself, you know. And, um, you know, the alcohol was a, a bad problem, man. That really fed into the depression a lot. And just, wow, it, it was terrible. But nothing I ever tried really, you know, meditation helped. All these things help. You get tools and tools that help and help and help. But it's really all self-reliance. And it wasn't really until I was like, you know, God, Christ, Jesus, like, help me. Like, I need Christ. You know, someone prayed for me. I don't know how specific I need to get about the, you know, that testimony. But I was I was picking sage, you know. I was going to a park that I was always spending, you know, my, my new moon, full moon rituals and stuff at. And there was a dude there and... He prayed for me. He's like, you know, how, how's your life going and stuff? And I was like, man, it ain't going so good, you know. This alcohol and stuff, everything. But, shh, man, that was five years ago. That, you know, it's almost, it's about four and a half years since I got baptized. So, and all things, you know, like the, the music and changing the music I listen to, changing the way I eat, everything. But, and it was, it was Christ Jesus alone. The, the reason why I'm still alive, man. The reason why... I'm still sober, the reason, everything, the, the reason why I have a future to move towards, you know, I was so shrouded in darkness and anger and hatred for the world, man, and I still have a lot of hatred for the world, <laughs> and you know, things still ain't 100% easy, and that's what kind of keeps me from speaking about it, you know, but like I said, man, it's that, that pure peace, that love, that bright light of Christ, man, that he plants in your heart, man. It um it helps you move away towards the anger. Once you've seen that and it's kinda like it's like a star that flashes in your heart and in, in your in your being, you have a, a reference point now. So that when you're angry, you have that, that calm, that surreal, that serene light to measure it against and you, and you know that's what you want. So it's it's able to take you from the anger to another place. Anger is something I've definitely struggled with uh, a lot, a lot. But um, man, being baptized, I was blessed enough to be baptized on the island. You know, there's a lot to that story too. But I had no idea I was gonna go there to be baptized. I had no idea I was gonna give my life to Christ. You know, and being baptized was one of the most beautiful things that. That I, I couldn't imagine, you know, that was one of the greatest parts of my life. And it was a, an absolute turning point transformation. And I, I just remember I was baptized in the ocean. And I remember, I was kind of thinking like, man, this is whatever. It's just a bunch of religious BS. But when I came back out of the water, how, how beautiful and how, like, pure and just radiant and white light. Just, like, everywhere. Just, like, because before I left, you know... I would always say it felt like the sun was dying. Like it wasn't as vibrant as it used to be. Like when I was a kid and stuff, I remember the sun being vibrant, full of a different kind of light. And I was like, man, the sun feels like it's dying. There's not enough like It's not the same. But when I got baptized and I, I came back up from the water, it was like just radiant, like a brand new sun. Just like it was exactly what I thought was missing from the sun. It was crazy. And everything was just like just glowing like so like you're reborn. Like you just the first breath and it was just absolutely beautiful and um i try to return to that moment a lot you know to re to refresh and reanoint and because the walk can get hard especially dealing with religious people man it's the hardest part of this walk religious people 
you know, that's a big part of my testimony is how, how much I absolutely hated Christianity. Um, hated, you know, religious people more specifically. I love Christ and I've always loved Jesus and, you know, I've always seen the, a beauty and peace about Jesus. But, you know, especially from a native perspective on Turtle Island and, you know, all the evil and the genocide and wickedness that is, you know, that the Christian people brought. It was hard. It was hard for me to listen, to be around Christian people, humans in general, in my isolation. But, man, my hatred for that was a, it was a terrible block. There was a lot of unforgiveness in my heart that I needed to deal with. But, yeah, man, Christ Jesus is the pure truth. And, you know, it's a time to kind of plant seeds and... To let you know to speak about it and let that spirit kind of do what it's set set out to do you know it doesn't come back void it's you know that's my testimony in short you know christ jesus done saved me from a lot of wickedness i was tied into a lot of you know just angry angry you know anger tied into you know a lot of divination and channeling different spirits and i don't want to get too into it but when you when you're open to the the wicked, you know, the spirit, the demons can get a hold of you, man, and they, they had a hold of me. They were very entangled in my mind, and I, I'm not fully cleansed from all of them by any means, but the amount of freedom and peace and life that I have now, compared to even a couple years ago, five years, like, it's been a long process. Like, I was definitely, definitely heavily steeped <clears throat> in a whole lot of hatred and very meditated on it. And, um, man, I just want everyone to be able to, to experience Christ Jesus, to experience that, that light, that, that freedom that, you know, that I felt when I was baptized and just even walking and to be protected from the religious people that really are, you know, they'll, they'll take, they hurt and they, they criticize and they, they shame and just, they beat people down a lot, man. And it really keeps people from the love, the agape love of, of Christ, the purity, the, the truth, man. And I want to be able to share that and plant seeds of hope into people's hearts and inspire and, you know, encourage people to seek Christ, the true Christ, the love, you know, the purity, that sacrifice, the one who gave his life for you because he loves you, like the absolute, you know, and, and I, and man, dear God, please protect me and protect all people from the religious spirits, man, because they trap, they hinder, they, they, they massacre, this genocide is, is that. It's greed and pride and so much wickedness, man. And it keeps the world... Because the world sees it, man. You can see relig the, the religious... All the energy of it, man. And, you know, it, it, it's hard. It's hard, definitely hard. Especially, you know, coming from New Age and magic and stuff. To to try to deal with... Dear God. You know, I don't want to say too much. All I want to say is... Man, Christ is beautiful. The love of God is beautiful. And Jesus is the truth man and he can set he can set people free free from chains that we don't even know we're carrying because we're so entwined intertwined with those familiar spirits that it's just like man once you once you're shown a different part of it a different side of it it's like it's relief it's freedom so i just want to leave it like that and encourage you know anyone that you know We're all called, we're all called to God. And I just encourage people to seek Him and try to let go of all the, all the wickedness that has been done in God's name. It's, that's hard to let go of. It's hard to forgive. And, and it's hard to seek Him with a clean heart and just be like, all right, show me who you are right now. Like, when you, if you can just, like, look to the sky and be like, Creator, show me the absolute truth. Show me your purity. Show me show me your holy ones, your angels, your malak. Show, show me that. I want to see it. I want to witness you. I want to witness your truth. And God bless you. I stay. Hold on. Yes, I'm yelling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But man, I pray that everyone gets to experience the love of God, the true agape love. I stay. May it set you free. I stay. Hold on. Christ Jesus. I know forgiveness ain't easy, but man, we're, we're meant to be light. We're meant. To, we are. We're meant to be light bodies. Like just walking on water, man. Like pure, not not weighed by, down by the heaviness of the world, but. Uh, so much love and now we knock out.